So let's say um, agency side. Let's go back to agency side because mm -hmm. I I find the two different mindsets um, mm -hmm. quite interesting. There are two different SEO mindsets, agency mm -hmm. and um, 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 in-house client side. And I find that a lot of agency SEOs, if they don't have in-house experience, the work that they produce is very much um, sales-led. So, for example, let's say, and, and <laughs> let's say a an account director sells in SEO, and um, that's all all, all great. Uh, but the person who's actually doing the work, sometimes, a lot of the times, there is a misunderstanding between the selling of SEO and the actual deliverable of SEO. There is always, in my, in my opinion, a gap in between. And I find that it's a very challenging um, um, process to deliver great work for clients uh, when that gap exists. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately there is agencies depending on the agency they sometimes the gap might be short it might be long what can agencies do to narrow that gap or ideally get rid of the gap between the sales process and the actual deliverable of the work yeah so that is such a such a great question this is actually something i've kind of spoke about quite a lot um and it's probably the probably the primary reason that I wanted to kind of go like become a consultant was to try and marry those two phases together, if that mm. makes sense. Just yeah, because completely. I, I've seen I've seen it so many times where, like within an agency, you'll have yeah you'll have people that are great at sales. They can go and and, and sell the benefits of SEO all day long, but then what often happens is that as soon as that account's won and becomes a um, becomes a client then it's handed off to kind of like maybe like potentially like junior SEOs junior, who are working yeah. across like multiple accounts um, and they're working across kind of, yeah, sometimes the number of accounts that I've heard kind of like <laughs> uh, uh, execs working across is, is kind of like mind-boggling to me. But, mm. uh, and then it just becomes like, it, it just becomes a matter of resource and just kind of like stru continually struggling to kind of, yeah, deliver what was obviously against expectations and what was thought to be kind of, yeah, um, at the uh, outset of the campaign. And obviously that leads to the first kind of two, three months that might be okay, but then it gets to a point where <laughs> I'm, I'm happiness kind of rears its head. So yeah, I think that's kind of, that is genuinely like, so the million dollar question I feel like for <laughs> so many agencies to kind of, to, to meet that. I think a lot of it does come from kind of team structure um, mm. and kind of really making sure that Obviously, sales is a part of every single business, kind of no matter the industry. So there's obviously that's all. There's always going to be kind of yeah, new client pipelines and and hopefully new business coming in. But ensuring that the team structure is in place to actually handle that business and provide kind of the services that were kind of discussed and sold uh, mm -hmm. is vital. Which obviously a lot of agencies are capable of doing, but I've, I've seen kind of cases where that's not always necessarily the case. Um, so yeah, making sure that the, the team the team structure, and I don't think there's SEO, you know, like everything in SEO, I don't think there's like kind of like one size fits all, I think. Right, yeah. It might be kind of what you, the use of account managers and then obviously delegating to execs and analysts, or you might have kind of like pods and teams that work across the same type of niche clients, et cetera. So but I think having an idea of, of what that looks like um, is, is so important uh, in order to kind of like manage that resource and ensure that there isn't kind of, yeah, this kind of pipeline of new clients coming in without like the resources they're actually capable of handling it and, mm. and delivering, yeah, yeah, working on deliverables that are going to get results. So yeah. I don't know if it's kind of like a bit of a, a bland answer, but yeah, that's kind of how, how I, yeah, how I said, to be honest, that is something I'm, I would, I'm continuing kind of like working and seeing kind of, especially working because like being a consultant in quite early stages, working at kind of how, how can I make sure I've got a, the processes in place for my, myself to avoid that if that makes sense so, yeah 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 it's, it's a, i just see it so much with seos yeah and it's i think it's a it's very much um 
an agency specific issue because I speak with consultants um, quite often and they never have this issue as a consultant. It's only in either when they become an agency or a bigger agency. And I find that the bigger the agency, the conglomerate, uh, it's, it's all about sales <laughs> with those big conglomerates. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate, I think, for, for, for the clients. Well, I think clients are very much, the more SEO is spread across digital, the more clients will be aware of um, um, the differences. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think yeah, it's it's obviously it's it's a yeah, it's such a, an interesting topic because I feel like SEO can get a bad name anyway, like purely from the past and what we was kind of speaking about <laughs> yeah, ten minutes ago, and maybe some of that sketchy past and what goes on. Um, and I think like, yeah, obviously the issue now isn't necessarily the way deliverables being low quality, but exactly what you just mentioned, kind of the, the, some of the agencies are giant sales machines and actually kind of the deliver, deliverables are probably absolutely fine. It's just kind of, that's all they are. They're, they're mm. fine and they're not kind of as good as they could be if kind of there, there was more kind of, yeah, resource and, and care given to them. So yeah, I think it's something that all agencies are grappling, grappling with. Um, to some extent and obviously like you say the, the, the bigger the size it's kind of the more the issue comes up I think yeah I think in the next uh, five or so years we're going to have even more SEOs becoming consultants because they're going to come to the conclusion I think that why not just get clients myself <laughs> I already know SEO I do SEO yeah uh, why do I need a salesperson to sell clients for me? And probably I could sell it better than the salesperson because I actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but hey. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I, and I think it's, uh, and also that kind of, if you are kind of, uh, if you are split across kind of like 10, 15 accounts, you're probably, some of the work you know, you're putting out, well, I've kind of had experiences of, I was just kind of like, I would love to be able to spend more time on this, but I just can't. <laughs> yeah. So there's kind of definitely kind of like, yeah, there's definitely that side as well. And if, if I was to, I had the thought previously that if I was a consultant, I was able to limit the, the clients I wanted to work with, with to, a, to a certain number, then I would be able to delegate that time and kind of really keep the standard high. So mm. yeah, I think you're right. I think it's going to be interesting that, to see how, yeah, to see how the SEO industry develops and how people kind of use use and find talent as well because obviously there's I know kind of just from speaking to other agency owners or it, it's quite tough to, to hire at times especially now so yeah it'd be interesting yeah. to see how that develops yeah definitely